Welcome to our Situation Report, brought to you by the American Security Council Foundation. I'm your host, Joy Vaterbeck, and here with me is our senior analyst, Lauren Sanford. Nice to be here, Joy. Thank you, Larry. And the situation right now with Turkey. Uh, prior to the Israeli war with Hamas, uh, we shot down one of Turkey's drones that got a little close to our troops in Syria. And the first question that came to my mind, Joy, when you bring this up is, what are American troops doing in Syria? And uh, there's apparently approximately 1,000 mm -hmm. American troops there at various little areas within the Kurdish controlled area. And they're there to protect the Kurds from uh, Russian interference, mm -hmm. Turkish interference, mm -hmm. Syrian interference, and last but not least, Iraqi interference. And so far, there's sort of been a stalemate, mm -hmm. and uh, things are sort of muddling along with not too much action. But once in a while, uh, they, the Russian-inspired come after uh, the U.S. troops and with air support probably from Turkey, uh, base American Turkey, American planes based in Turkey, uh, they pretty much withstood any at assault on them. But in this day and age of increased sophistication of missiles, who knows how long the American troops in Syria will be relatively at peace? We don't know. We don't. We don't. And, and, the, and our thrust here is, is Turkey. So where does Turkey stand in all of this going on in the Middle East as it's unfolding? Mm -hmm. We do know that they came back and shot down or I did attack the Kurds after the drone was shot down. And, and Turkey's been having an ongoing uh, civil war with the Kurds mm -hmm. in, in part of their country. Uh, after World War I, when Turkey Ottoman Empire was dismembered because they were on the German side and therefore lost the war, the British and the French uh, established Iraq, Syria, Egypt as independent countries out of Turkish control. And uh, at the time, they promised the Kurds their own separate nation, but uh, they didn't. The British and French reneged on the deal. And so now you have 30 to 40 million Kurds scattered throughout Iran, Turkey, Iraq, and Syria, pretty much wanting their own homeland. And so there's a, a Kurdish area up in Iraq where all the oil is. So mm. it, it's, a, it's a sticky situation like so many things in the Middle East. And, uh, and Turkey is a NATO ally, mm -hmm. and, uh, but they uh, are ruled now by a guy by the name of Erdogan, who uh, is an Islamist uh, promoter, and he's a promoter of restoring, if not the Ottoman Empire, restoring the influence of Turkey throughout the Turkic-speaking world, which is a big slug of mm -hmm. territory going into Russia and Kazakhstan and Turkestan and the, all the stans of Turkish mm -hmm. people. So. And when we point out the Kurds, I think we should say with the PKK, I believe, is the group that they are the terrorist that well, Turkey considers terrorist. So they are the main focus of why they're going after right. the Kurds. The PKK they consider terrorists. And it's also why they had a problem with Sweden. Right. Turkey says that Sweden is harboring these terrorists, the, the, the Kurds, and therefore they won't accept them in entry into NATO. But we could also say Turkey is harboring Muslim Brotherhood. Good point. Uh, yes, Erdogan is a big fan of the Muslim Brotherhood, and the Muslim Brotherhood uh, founded uh, was found. Hamas is an offshoot of the Muslim Brother mm -hmm. Brotherhood, and Hamas is the ones that instigated the war against uh, Israel to promote uh, uh, the, the vulnerability aspects of Israel's present state, and also to rally Muslims throughout the world against the existence of Jews because. Hamas is objective is the eradication of the Jewish people in the Jewish state. That sounds like a familiar tone because I think it came out of Iran as well. Yes, <laughs> yes, and Israel is the uh, little Satan in the world of Iran and the big Satan in the world of Iran, of course, is the United States. So. Well, I think we've gone over our, our three minutes here of our situation report, but thank you, Larry, for the uh, briefing you. on Turkey. And to our listeners, uh, stay with us as we bring you updates on what's going on with Turkey, uh, Israel, and the Ukraine. Thanks, Joy. Thank you. Thank you to our listeners.